Hello everyone, it's me again, your Mami Jo, and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so this video, I will give you 14 interesting facts about Nepal that you didn't know. Okay, so first is, the map of Nepal and Portugal is similar. Nepal and Portugal are alike in the world map. They both have similar rectangular territory. If the map of Nepal is turned 90 degrees clockwise, it looks very similar to the map of Portugal. Okay, next. Second one is unique Nepali calendar. The Nepali calendar called Bikram. Sambat is approximately 67 years and 8.5 months ahead of Gregorian calendar. The Nepali New Year is celebrated in mid-April. The third one is, is Lauter Cow is Illegal. As a national animal of the country, slaughtering of cows is illegal in Nepal. Although you can enjoy beef at different restaurants and eateries, it is not uncommon to see cows wandering around the streets of Kathmandu. Number four, Nepal, Amazon of Asia. In terms of biodiversity, Nepal is one of the richest countries in the world. It is the rightful called Amazon of Asia as it is a home for the variety of unique species of flora and fauna. Nepal has more than 900 species of birds, which accounts to 8.9% of the total species of birds all around the world. It has 4.2% of the world's butterfly species and 3.96% of the world's mammal species. Number five, Kathmandu, Living Cultural Mu Museum. Nepal is culturally rich country. There are dozens of world heritage sites categorized as natural and cultural world heritage sites. Kathmandu Valley alone has seven UNESCO's World Heritage Cultural Sites within a radius of 15 kilometers. No wonder Kathmandu is known to be the living cultural museum of the world. Number six, the Mount Everest. Nepal has eight out of ten of the world's highest mountains, including the world's highest Mount Everest is standing 8,848 meters high. Mount Everest is called Sagarmata in Nepali and Komolungma by the local Sherpas and Tibetans. Thousands of trekkers visit to Everest Base Camp and hike to Kalapatar to catch a glimpse of Mount Everest closely. Number seven, birthplace of Lord Buddha. Nepal is the birthplace of the light of Asia, Buddha. Siddhartha Siddhartha Gautam, or Buddha, was born in 623 BC in Kapilvastu, Lumbini, which lies in Nepal. Lumbini is now a sacred place of pilgrimage for Buddhists all over the world. There are different relics around Maya Devi Temple, which dates back to the time during Buddha's birth. Number 8. Triangular Flag Nepal is the only country in the world with a non-rectangular flag. Ne Nepal's flag is maroon colored with two triangular shapes stacked on one another, 
with dark blue border. The upper triangle consists of moon and the lower triangle consists of the sun. The current flag has been in place since 1962, although the basic design has been used for over 2,000 years in Nepal. Number 9. Independent Nation The famous warriors in the world, Gurkhas, are from Nepal, having been protected by the bravest warriors of the world. Nepal does not have an independent day as it was never colonized by any superpowers of the world. Number 10. Living Goddess Kumari Nepal has the only living goddess in the world called Kumari. Kumari literally means virgin in Nepali. There are three different Kumari in three main cities of Kathmandu Valley. 11. The last Hindu country. Nepal was the last Hindu country in the world when it was declared secular by the parliament in the year 2006. Although many religions harmoniously coexist in the country, 81.3% of the population in the country follows Hinduism. Nepal still has the highest proportion of Hindus in the world. Number 12. Namaste, I salute the God in you. Handshake is quite uncommon in Nepal. People of Nepal put their palms together and bow their forehead and say Namaste or Tashidil in the Sherpa communities. Namaste is directly translated as I salute the God in you. Number 13, Yeti resides in Nepal. The mysterious creature of the Himalayas called Yeti is said to be spotted in the Nepalese Himalayas by many who have trodden the secluded path in the Himalayas. Sir Edmund Hillary even led an expedition to find the Yeti in 1958. And number 14, Altitude Variation. Nepal is the only country with altitude Altitudinal variation that ranges from 59 meters to 8,848 meters. Nepal holds some of the most extreme places on the earth, such as the highest lake on the earth, Telicho, 4,800 4, meters, the highest valley on earth, Arun Valley, the deepest Georges, 1,200 meters in Kalindaki and the tallest grassland in the world in Chituan. So, these are the 14 interesting facts about Nepal, guys. Hope that you enjoy my simple video. So, and hope that you learned something about this video about Nepal, guys. So, see you later. Hello, everyone. We're back. And uh, Babu is with me. He's not feeling well, guys. Babu is not feeling well. He's grumpy. He's a little hot. Suguru ano hawa na hawaan siya kay papa, kay papa niya. And yun nga pala guys, Asis went to the hospital this morning. Aching, oh, God bless you anak ko. Uh, he went to the hospital this morning for his blood test. And uh, in general also. Because Asis, uh, he has this uh, cough and flu. And he has high fever, that's why. Then the doctor gave him a medicine. Uh, I think Asis, uh, because Asis is acidic. One, w one thing is Asis is acidic, acidic. And Asis is lack of vitamin. Vitamin. Uh, this is for iron. 
Ah, vitamin B. So this one guys, the doctor gave him this one, the B colon, vitamin B. Vitamin B, B1, B2. Basta yun guys, kulang siya sa vitamin sa katawan. And acidic si Papa Asis. So binigyan siya nito to less the acidity sa urine alka alkalizer. Actually, ang dami niyang medicine na binigay ng doktor. Tapos, meron siya nito. Uh, si Fexin Dispersible Tablets. Right o Sef. Ayan. At ang, ang nakalagay dito, ano? For Nepal Supply Only. <laughs> Kahit ito, guys, nakalagay for Nepal Supply Only. Ewan ko kung bakit. Tapos, meron din siya nito. Actually, paracetamol. Phosphate. Codophosphate. Ayan, three times a day. At saka, meron siya dito. Paracetamol para sa fever niya. Kasi ang taas ng lagnat siya kaninang umaga, guys. Kaya ayun, dinala siya sa hospital. And eto, di ko alam kung anong medicine nila guys, nakasulat sa Nepali. Pero yan, lahat yan. Bukod sa acidic si papa namin, yung cough niya, ano ma, anong tawag doon? Yung dry, 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 dry yung cough niya. Tapos meron din siyang sipon. At saka yun, kulang siya sa vitamins, kulang din siya sa iron, at mababa ang kanyang white blood cell. Baliktad kami ni Papa Asis, kasi ako, mataas ang white, white blood cells ko, mababa ang aking red blood cells. Si Papa naman, mababa ang kanyang white blood cells. Pero, so far, uh, okay naman yung blood test niya. Sa, sa red blood cells, ganyan, okay naman, wala namang problema, yun nga lang. <laughs> Tapos, ayun guys, medyo okay na siya, unlike, unlike yesterday, at saka kaninang umaga na latang-lata, ngayon, after the medicine, pagkagaling niya sa hospital, okay naman na siya. Nakatulog siya maghapon. And, ayun, sana hindi magkasakit si Babu namin. Kasi hindi, ano din siya, medyo, medyo mainit, may sinat siya, kaya siya grumpy. Mm. Bebe, hindi, hindi mahayos ang aming camera. Nasa gilid kami, nasa gilid. Ayan, ayan. Hello, bebe. Oh, mag-vlog ikaw, anak. Vlog ikaw, bebe. Say hello everyone. Kamo, hindi kanila nakita eh ngayong araw na to eh. Ngayon lang eh. Hm? Eh? Dina ah. Dina anak ko ah. Oh, wala siya sa mood. Ang bebe ko wala sa mood. Hmm. Wala sa mood ang bebe ko. Hmm. Ano ba? Ano ba? So, yun guys, nakatulog na si Babu. Actually, ano, may ubo na naman siya. Yung ubo niya, pag nag-ubo siya, sabay suka. Yung suka niya, ano, may mga plema. Buti nga nilalabas niya yung plema, eh. Okay na yun. Sana hindi siya matuluyang magkasakit. Kawawa naman. Si Papa kasi, eh. Inawaan ni Papa Asis, eh. Ayan guys, napatulog ko na siya. Si Papa Asis, medyo okay na. So, ayun guys. Uh, actually, may nagpapa-shout out. Kaso, hindi ko siya matandaan. <laughs> Bali, yung shout out po, next time na lang. Kapag nag nag-backread na ako. Kasi hindi ako masyado nakakapagbasa ngayon ng mga comments nyo. Hindi ako masyado nakakapag-reply. Pasensya na po. So, yung mga nagpapa-shoutout po, next time na lang po ako mag-shoutout. Ano po? So, yun lang po nangyari ngayong araw na to. 
Actually, si Babu, uh, halos maghapon din siyang tulog kasi masama nga po yung pakiramdam. Ganon din si Papa Asis, ma maghapon din. So, nandito lang kami sa bahay, guys. Ako nagbantay sa kanilang dalawa. So, medyo antok na rin ako. And, ano na, mag-alas 8 na dito at magkakain na rin kami ng hapunan. So, tapusin ko ng video na to, guys. So yun guys, thank you, thank you so much everyone. So see you in my next video. God bless us all everyone. Bye.